What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another favorites video. It has been too long since I've done one of these. I completely missed the winter favorites that went by way too fast. Um, so now since today is June 1st, which how is it already June? But so I thought that uh, we would kind of combine the winter and spring favorites into one video. And so we'll do kind of like the first half of 2019 favorites. So I have a lot of products here to get through. So let's get started. All right, so we've got, you know, the usual kind of three categories. We got shower stuff, skin products, and then of course, Hair products. So let's start out in the shower arena here. And the first one I want to talk about is the Cure shampoo and conditioner from Amika. Uh, these are pretty new to me. These, this is something that, um, you know, I went in for a cut and color one day and my stylist had these in the salon, used them on me and I was like hooked instantly. And so was my wife. So like we each had it done in the salon and we're like, all right, we need to buy these. Um, they're quite expensive, but it's so worth it. And you get, I mean, th this is like the massive salon size bottle. So you can of course get their kind of typical um, eight ounce ones uh, for quite a bit cheaper, but you know, you only need a little bit. They last a long time. They smell great. It's a very like light, fresh kind of citrusy-ish scent. Um, and it just makes your hair feel so clean and so just, silky um just yeah really great cleanser really wonderful conditioner they make a hair mask too which um ha it works well by itself it's you know if a stylist is using it like sam diluted a color with that hair mask and it just made my hair feel the softest like it's ever felt in my life so yeah really 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 great stuff next in the shower arena we have the treatment cleansing resin from morris motley this is uh, this was from their lunar new year collection that they did um and it's kind of i guess a spiritual successor to the treatment cleansing oil um it's similar but they've you know obviously swapped out some ingredients and things and it's um so the treatment cleansing oil is almost like a jelly consistency, and I, I'm still meaning to do like a video on that eventually. This one is definitely more like a cleansing oil. It's still very thick, uh, but I find this one to be lighter in the hair, and yeah, it just does a really great job for those days that I, ev I either have styled with, you know, like a, a water-based product that washes out like nothing, so I don't need, you know, like a real shampoo to get it clean, or if I just don't have anything in my hair and I want to just use this as like a deep conditioning thing, that's been really good. And I, I did talk to the brand and I think that this may be replacing the treatment cleansing oil in the future, but uh, that still remains to be seen. But anyway, these aren't even on the Morris Motley site anymore, but I know they are still available at Fleek Fellows. So if you did want to check out any of the Lunar New Year collection, um, they are still available over there. All right, next up we have one of my all-time favorites and constant in my rotation, the Pure Shampoo and Conditioner Set from the Salon Guy. And more specifically, these that I have here are the newly reformulated um, versions. He just recently did this and, and reformulated them to be silicone-free uh, within the past couple of months. And I mean, I loved the original set and somehow the reformulation is even better. Um, this is just one of those things that's just a great like daily driver, shampoo and conditioner, keeps the hair feeling super clean, super soft and silky. There's so much alliteration going on right now. S's. Uh, but yeah, they work great. They smell amazing as with most of his stuff. You know, they block DHT. So if you're worried about hair loss, they can help to combat that. It's And, and the price is good for what they are. They're really fantastic stuff. Um, yeah. And last but certainly not least for the shower arena, we have the SH2 and CD2 shampoo and conditioner from Patrick's. Now, these are um, something that I don't use all the time. I use these once in a while and I use these when I just really want my shower to be like a spa relaxing experience. Uh, these are just fucking bomb. I mean, they're very expensive, so it's definitely a luxury item, but it's a luxury item. So, I mean, 
uh, violet and tobacco leaf scent on the shampoo and this now this one he has sh1 and sh2 the sh2 is for thicker or normal hair uh, so great for me does a really great job cleansing builds up a nice lather gets it super clean the smell is just mm. And then the CD2, again, this is the one for thick or normal hair. Uh, it's vetiver and black lily scented. Oh my God, it smells so good. Um, my only complaint with this one is that the conditioner is so thick that it's really hard to squeeze it out of this bottle. Like I have to, and um, I think I've seen some like posts on the Patrick's Instagram that I, I am speculating, but I think he might be experimenting with a new, more like pump top packaging for future iterations of this. Don't quote me on that because I could be totally wrong, but uh, Patrick, if you happen to be watching, um, I like the pump top idea. I really like this packaging. It's really just nice and with aluminum and stuff, it looks great, but the conditioner is so, I mean, it's thick and it's good. It's so, it's just hard to get it out of there. All right, moving on to skin products now. And the first one I wanna mention is the Mug Cleaner Face Wash from the Grooming Lounge. This is, you know, you guys uh, that you've, if you've watched my skin videos, you know that I'm a Kiehl's boy, um, but I, you know, the Grooming Lounge sent me a massive line of products earlier in the year and um, I really like their skin products. And the wash specifically is definitely uh, comparable to like the, um, the, the what, what, what is it? Cucumber something, whatever. The green face wash thing that I use from Kiehl's Cucumber, or Cucumber Herbal, that's what it is. Um, this is like a really good competitor to that. It's very gentle, but it cleans really nicely. It doesn't dry out my skin. Um, just, you know, works really well. And it's a great price for this. It's an eight ounce bottle, so that you get a ton of it. Um, pricing's really good. Yeah, no complaints. Next up, I have another grooming lounge product and that is their mug scrubber. This is their exfoliating wash. I've been using this like once a week and it's just really, really nice. Once again, it's gentle. So it's not like really, you know, irritating, like really scrubbing your skin harshly. Uh, the little scrubbing beads in it are made out of jojoba oil. So they're, you know, it's not like little microplastics that are fucking up our environment, which is always a nice thing. Smells great. Uh, again, it's, I mean, it's a four ounce tube, you a lot in there, you only need like a little bit at a time, and yeah, it just works really nicely. All right, now we're kind of venturing into the land between skin and beard-ish. So first up, I have the Perilla Oil from Oliver J. Woods. This stuff has been wonderful. First of all, oh, it smells so fucking good. Um, and now this is an oil that you can use in your hair, like as a pre-styler. It does a really, really surprisingly good job at like smoothing. Um, I really love it as a beard oil. It really softens my beard and you can smell it for a while and it just, ugh. Um, you can also just use it on your skin. I mean, and it's just, yeah, it's really super nice. I really like the, the glass bottle. It's just like a really kind of high-end feeling packaging. It looks nice sitting on a shelf. It's just, yeah, really, really good shit. And now more directly into the beard stuff, uh, I have the Scarecrow Scent Beard Balm from Chesapeake Beard Company. These, I have a couple beard balms and oils from them, and first of all, they work really super well. They just make my beard so soft, and they last for a long time, and especially the balms, like they just really lock in that moisture, and the Scarecrow Scent, boy. Mm. It just smells like autumn, which is my favorite season. And it's just, it's like apple and spices and outside. And it just, it smells so fucking good. And it just works amazing. I never thought with like being a short beard person that I would, you know, get use out of a beard balm. But really I like using this more than most beard oils, to be honest. All right, and now we're finally getting into the hair product realm. So we're gonna start out with Still, hands down, my favorite pre-styler that I use all the fucking time, the 25 spray from the Salon Guy. This is something that I've had in like several favorites videos and it keeps coming back because I keep using it. Um, I've been trying out a lot of different pre-stylers. You know, I try out so many products all the time and a lot of them are really good. But this is one that it's always on my shelf. It's always a, a fallback that I know is gonna perform. And to be honest, it just, 
it like does everything. It does everything that I need. It smooths, it gives volume, it protects my hair, it makes it feel silky soft. More, there's more alliteration. S's. Um, it, yeah, it's just, I mean, there's, it, it's called 25 because it has 25 benefits. And so this is really like, I don't need any other pre-stylers to do anything else. Like this does it all. All right, next up, we have the clay pomade from First Hand Supply. And you know, their products are something that I've been trying more recently because I just didn't have them before. But I really like this one. I really like what the brand is doing with their, you know, recycling milk jugs to make their uh, pomade jars and stuff, which I really, really like that about them. And this stuff is just great. It's, it smells very, you know, herby and natural and it's, it really is a great clay pomade. It's like super smooth and lightweight and easy to apply, but then it gives you that clay texture and it's got a pretty damn strong hold to it. And yeah, it just works great. Next we have Northern Lights Matte Paste from Sheer Revival. This is one that, you know, everybody was talking about it for a long time. I had so many requests to review it. So I finally went and bought it and tried it out. And I am so happy I did, man. It's another one that it smells like really natural, kind of limey. And this is one of the few matte pastes that I have tried thus far that doesn't make my hair feel dry as fuck. It doesn't make it look, you know, frizzy and flyaway. Quite the opposite, in fact. It makes my hair feel very soft, and the longer it's in my hair, the softer it feels. Really, really great texture. Um, nice, like, medium hold, not really strong holding or anything. But you guys know me, I love mediums. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a really damn good matte paste. Next up, we have a standby that I've been using for a long time now. And this is another one of those styling products that I just always go back to on like my off days where I'm not testing, uh, you know, new things. And I just want something that I know how it's gonna perform. And that's the Fuertes styling clay. And this obviously is not their normal jar. This is, Frankie hooked me up with this massive fucking jar of clay. And this stuff is just great. Um, once again, smells mm, so good. That sweet orange and a little bit of lavender in there. And it just buttery smooth application, big, big texture. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a super strong hold either, but I don't really like a super strong hold in my clays. And this one is another one of those products that the longer it's in my hair, the softer it feels. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have this big ass jar because I won't run out for quite some time. Next, we have a bit of a new guy on the block and that is the Hustle Grooming Clay from the Salon Guy. I've, I mean, I've been a tester on this, so I've been using it for some time now, but, and even though this just dropped like a couple weeks ago, I've been using the shit out of it. And it's just, I you could almost say that this is like the water-based equivalent to the Fuertes Clay in that it makes my hair feel super soft. It's a solid medium hold. It's got great texture. This washes out like pfft, nothing, just water rinse. Um, the smell on this one. Oh, fuck. It smells so good. I actually just had a haircut yesterday and I had this in my hair when I got to the salon and my stylist was like, what did you put in your hair today? It smells so good. So yeah, bang. Yeah, so this is definitely one that, it, it's another thing that we're like, if I'm not testing something and I want to use something and I know how it's going to perform, this one all the way. All right, two more products to go. And so now we've got something that I had kind of forgotten about. It was kind of in the back of my shelf for a while and I just started using it again recently and remembered why I have it and why I like it so much. And that is the Moroccan oil dry shampoo. Um, just a really great dry shampoo. Like you only need a little bit. It does what it's supposed to do. It removes that excess oil, but it doesn't over dry the hair. Um, it doesn't leave it, you know, with that real, some dry shampoos give you like a real gritty, just kind of like dirty feeling texture. This one doesn't do that. Um, again, smells great. This is like one of the very few Moroccan oil products that it kind of has their signature scent, but it's a little bit different, a little bit sweeter, I think. But yeah, still smells amazing and um, just it works. And last but definitely not least, we have the Silkening Mist Shine Spray from Kenra. This is something I never thought I would like ever need to use a shine spray or, or want to use one, but this is one of those things that my stylist uses it on me in the salon all the time. 
and it just it's great it's like perfect for those moments where sometimes if i use a product that's like way too fucking dry and my hair just looks like straw just a couple spritzes of this baby and then it just gets this beautiful natural shine back it feels softer again and this fucking smell boy oh my god it literally just smells like candy it smells delicious um, and it just works great. It doesn't leave your hair feeling oily or greasy or anything. It just feels so soft and it's just got this perfect sheen to it. It's really, if you want to add a little bit of shine to your hair, use this. Whew, all right, we made it. That was a lot of products. Um, I could have even had more, but I was, I was literally filling up a bag to bring down here into my kind of studio where I record. And I was like, this is pretty full. I probably should not add any more stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that, I mean, that's w definitely one of the perks to like doing this whole reviewing thing on YouTube is I get to try so many products and I get to discover so many great ones. Um, of course, there are some that are subpar too, but, but really I feel like I've been very fortunate that a lot of the products I've tried are really something special. So that about wraps things up for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I always like doing these favorites videos. They're just kind of fun and easy to do, and I don't know, I just enjoy them. Coming up, I have still so many things. I just, I keep like thinking that I'm getting near to like catching up to my backlog of products and then more products show up. Um, so I've got like a bunch of hair bond stuff. I've got um, Faith and Integrity pomade. I've got uh, Third & Co. I mean, I, there's like all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm going shopping soon to buy a bunch of budget products to start working on that series, which really looking forward to that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I was also hoping to pick up a jar of the Hermit clay um, to review for you guys, but it dropped last night and I went on this morning to go buy a jar and it's already sold out. So I guess I'll have to wait till the next batch. So that might not be for a bit, uh, but I do plan on doing that in case you're wondering. So if you haven't already, please do hit that button down below to subscribe and keep up to date with all that stuff. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching and we'll see you at the next one.